Hi, welcome to Cora Castle. My name is Kira, and today I'm going to be sharing my favorite vegan mashed potato recipe. If you have been free from anything in particular, it seems like no family is quite on board, and if they are, you are very lucky. I typically have a plate of sides and am expected to do so. You, however, can't really account for what people are putting in it. Some people put half and half, whole milk, whipping cream. They, people put whatever they want in mashed potatoes and think it's fine. It's not fine. So not only are we freeing it from a burner, we are releasing ourselves from water, from constant checking. We're baking our mashed potatoes today. I am a big proponent of this and get on board. All right, I've got my two pounds of potatoes. Just double this recipe if you need eight servings. This is about four. This makes a lot of sense for my house right now because I'm not trying to have mashed potatoes for the next week. So first and foremost, let's get our uh, oven baking at 425. I'm gonna go scrub these. Give me a second. <laughs> Let me just bring this over here to the party. What I like is that we're not introducing a ton of water by baking these, so. There's no giant pot of water that you can spill everywhere and on yourself and get a third degree burn. You have to go to a hospital on Thanksgiving. Not speaking from experience, but yeah. So I'm using russet potatoes and Yukon Golds. Um, use whatever you like. I find like the mixture is widely renowned. <laughs> I like these, they're a little bit more white. These are obviously more yellow. I don't really like that deep yellow look, so. <laughs> It's an aesthetics thing, it's a texture thing. It's, it's whatever you want it to be thing. So I'm gonna bring in my baking sheet and I'm just gonna give these a couple steps. I prefer stabbing them over a fork. I don't know, I just feel like they release a little bit better when I stab them rather than sort of a fork. So just giving them a nice little jab and then Zane will be happy because I can add little knife sounds. All right, so I have my pan, and what I also wanna do is I'm gonna cut this in half. Or as in half as I feel like I can. That is a little green. I'm not gonna judge myself, okay? I'm not judging myself. We're gonna be roasting a whole head of garlic. I think, I mean, I'll probably use this bottom half here. I'm gonna pour yeah, about a teaspoon. Just whatever feels good. That feels pretty good, right? Just let it rub in there. There we go. All right, and so I'm gonna put it back together. Put its hat back on because if this, if this like connects with the foil, it can burn. And I don't like that. What you're trying to do is make a roasty toasty packet. Uh, some people wrap it in parchment before going into the foil. That's really up to you, how much stuff you wanna waste. What I'm trying to do is avoid the cloves touching the foil itself, so I feel like the skin will do what a parchment should be doing. Okay, so I've got that. Once my oven is 425, I'm gonna stick it in there and uh, probably go for, I don't know, you go until they're fork tender, like true fork tender, like no resistance, no like, you want it to be like, like, through sand, you know what I mean? Like stabbing sand. I have a better analog for this. Anyway, uh, probably for me, it's been typically over an hour, um, closer to two, hour 15. Probably a great place to start. <laughs> Went ahead and checked my potatoes, but they are not quite fork tender. I'm gonna go ahead and wait out the remaining two minutes and just start working on our cream. I'm gonna be adding three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna plop that in there. One cup of plant milk. I'm using almond, it just had the least sweetener in it. I'm gonna put this on the heat until it is all melted. I'm not gonna boil it or anything. We're just warming it um, so we can add it to the potatoes. My potatoes are done. It's been an hour and 15. We're gonna go ahead and pull these out. Um, I'm just gonna set them aside to cool. Whatever, oh my God, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. That was very quick. Okay. To this, I'm gonna actually add my salt and pepper. This is a little more coarse 
than usual, so I'm gonna do about a teaspoon and a half. That looks a lot more than a teaspoon. And I like to pepper as I can see it in there. Just a few aggressive cranks. Ooh, I can smell it, very peppery, very good. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and cut these boys. This is quite hot. The skin gets a little difficult to cut through and so I like to use a serrated knife just so I don't hurt myself. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do my best not to burn myself, but I would love, oh God, oh my God. <laughs> We're just scraping as much as we can. Be careful not to burn your little fingies. They should just come right off. If not, you have made a grave error. But at like 75 minutes at 425, I really feel like you can't, you really can't lose. And then we're gonna check out our little roasty packet. Ooh, it smells so good. Look at that. So this is your discretion. How much do you like garlic? I'm only gonna take maybe a couple of these cloves. And you can just, you can just squish, squish, oops. You can just give it a squish. Take what you want, leave what you don't. But like, don't leave the skins in there because that is an unnecessary Texture, we are not after today. So we're just gonna mash. We're mashing. I finally got a masher. I have been anti-mash for a long time. All right, it looks like, looks like Cheetos, like the white ones, or like macaroni. It's amazing, I love this thing. All right, so here's a fun thing. I'm gonna add some vegan mayonnaise, check the date, and then just kinda pop a tablespoon or so in there. I just want a little bit more of a tang. And then I'm gonna take my mixture, I'm gonna pour about half. I'm just gonna start whisking. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. Let's move this. Okay, let's add the rest. There we go. And just keep mixing it in there. It's kinda it, now you just dress it. Just need like a serving dish. Actually, let's clean up this disgusting board. Disgusting. So we're just gonna Mix it in, then kind of just guide that into the bowl. Take a spoon and like, don't want to smash it down, but you do want to sort of make it look a little more nuanced. Give them a nice chip chop, chip chop, chip chop. What if we did like a pad of butter? Is that too yellow? Let's do just a nice little drizzle of olive oil. I feel like that'll be like a stunner. Oh, that's pretty, huh? That's pretty. Hmm, I think I ruined it. All right, and then we're chiving out. And then you enjoy. Honestly, this is a game changer for me in the holidays. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe if you want. Don't if you don't. Take care, thank you, bye.